Hey, babe. Hey. Good morning. Good morning. Where are we heading? We are headed to uh, St. Joseph's Peninsula State Park. I'm excited about this. This is our first time being out here on the Cape. Cape San Blas, I think is what this is called. Just outside of Port St. Joe, it's the, it's the protective peninsula that kind of jets out into the Gulf that kind of protects the mainland. And uh, up here on the northern end is where the state park is. So we've never been. Looks like a beautiful beach. There's a lot of great reviews on it. Look at that place. Ooh, that's cool looking, modern. Yeah. But it, uh, it looks beautiful out here. We've already it seen is. a lot of beautiful beaches we've gone by. There's a lot of expensive million dollar homes out here. Mm -hmm. So we're going to check out the state park. We got the camera and we'll share it with you guys today. I'm excited to see it. All right, six bucks to get in. Here you go. Here's the sign. Hi, cute sign. We are ready. Yep. This is a pretty big state park. The peninsula Major goes out trail. for quite a few miles. See, this another. person is stopped right here, so just be aware. I don't really know why. Are they lost? Are they looking at something? Is this like uh, wildlife? It does look like they're looking at something, but I don't really know what. Maybe they're looking for the eagles. Well, that eagle yesterday was amazing. Yep. Is there Pretty a place that you pay? Yeah, there's a guard shack okay. up here. We're not quite to it yet. It is supposed to be a very windy day today. It will be breezy. Yep, red flag warning today yeah. too. The water's so pretty out there in the yes, bay. Yes, it is. I know this camera doesn't quite capture it, but. Oh, yellow flag, not red flag. America's best state parks, mm -hmm. Florida state parks, the real Florida. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so the guy at the uh, park the ranger. ranger, the park ranger, yep, he uh, said that they're still recovering from the hurricane. You can see it right here. Yeah, well, uh, the the, the, my heart. the road used to go quite a ways through the park here, and because of the hurricane damage, it got washed away. So they're 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 continuing to rebuild from the hurricane Michael damage. So he says, as far as we can drive, is about a mile down. That's the main parking lot. But he says, if you want to, you can hike nine miles to the very end. <laughs> but they rent kayaks and canoes down here for people that want to go out out in the water but look at look at the water look how pretty that is i mean we have the we have some of the same emerald green and blue waters here that we have a little further west down in the uh destin and pensacola stop Beach telling them about that <laughs> We don't need any more people in Pensacola. We've already told them about that. We've I know, got, I know. We've got we all kinds it. of videos on. Please the, come and visit. It's on awesome. The channel. This is beautiful. Yeah, I'd, I'd say let's just let's park. Let's just go for a walk. Agreed. I want to see. If, get down to where that little pass is that um you I fall think, on the map i think it's a pass that maybe happened after the hurricane that's not actually supposed to be there because the road cuts right through it i think that's part of the rebuild eagle harbor boat ramp i'm just gonna Oh, I think this is it. There's yeah. a gate down there. Okay, so this yeah. is it right here. Yeah, there's access across the street too. So let's uh, let's just park here and let's walk around. Agreed. Let's go rent that pontoon, babe. That would be sweet. I'll find out how much they are. Oh, well, there's some in the water there, huh? Looks like they have pontoon boat rentals here 
we're going to find out about this and see what the cost is because we do want to come back and visit again and this is something that we'll have to put on our on our uh, list for the next adventure here pontoon boat rental get out there in the bay so they got the boat ramp here you can use and so we went in and um, found out about the uh, pontoon boats I was close, wasn't I? Yeah, you were right I on. I said it's going to be 200 for a half day, 400 for a full day. It's 350 for a half day, yeah. 400 for a full day, but you yeah. get it for a full eight hours. And, uh, and we overheard really nice. we overheard her talking about the people to the people over there. Yep. You can take a dog out on the boat, but yep. you cannot. It's it's take illegal. It out of the boat. It's illegal yeah. to let your dog off onto state park property. Yes. So if you get caught, there's a huge fine. Yeah. Um, letting your dog off. So they basically say don't take your dogs so and he did say that there's still another year until they'll be up and running there's a lot of things that are being built out here still because they got destroyed in yep. the hurricane a lot so. of repair the, the road did go seven miles further she says but mm -hmm. because of hurricane michael it's, it's washed out and they're still repairing it yeah but so they got uh, some canoes here but I it's, think probably, they even have been, paddle boards it's too. probably been good that they haven't had uh, traffic down there i'm fine with it let it recover. Fish cleaning station. I just wanted to come over here and look at it. Oh, I love that smell. Mm -hmm. it smells like the Gulf. It smells like the Gulf. Eagle Harbor. That is a lot of shells. I mean, it's a lot of oysters and everything, but still a lot of pretty shells. So directly across there in that general area, that is Port St. Joe. So that's where, that's the town we've been hanging out. Uh, you know, having our dinners, it, it looks so far away. It does, it, it does. And, and when we're over there, I'm looking over here, I'm like, look how far away that, that looks out there. <laughs> so this is a beautiful little inlet beach it right is. here on the, you know, the, what we like to call the sound side. Really pretty. So we're going to take a walk across to the Gulf side, check it out. Maybe take a little stroll down the beach. Yeah, here's a, here's a good plaque talking about the uh, Hurricane Michael uh, damage and the recovery. And this is what had happened right here. So it basically just cut the peninsula in half, you know, where the road originally went across. You know, so that's what it looks like now. But I can tell they've done some repair because it looked like there was a bridge down there, but we're going we're gonna to find out. So 2018, Yep. it was a Category 5. Yeah, I couldn't remember. I thought it was 19, but yeah, 2018. Can you see that? It was a Cat 5 and it just devastated the area, especially Mexico Beach, which is yeah. uh, just a little further north from here. All right, you ready to you ready to go? Of course. Let's do it. You dropping my water. That's my bad. <laughs> Look at this. Oh, Just as beautiful as Pensacola and Destin. <laughs> and it is not overloaded uh, with a million people. Look at this. And it's a Saturday. It is a Saturday. Wow. Incredible. This is what we're known for in the northern Gulf Coast is the beautiful sugar white sand of our beaches. Lots of shells. Yep.
I could sit and listen to this sound all day long. Me and Abby's been talking about this. We really need to do some more Florida videos because this is our home. Yeah. And I don't think we do enough. We don't. Showing our beaches and our, you know, a lot of the local uh, beaches that we have and the natural resources we have for the Gulf Coast. We'll get on it. You don't always need an actual trail to hike on. No. All you need is a beach. And you can hike as long as you want. Beautiful views. Yeah, this is incredible. It almost looks like Moab, doesn't it? It does. Not the color, but just that's exactly how it's I made. Was, well, <laughs> like I it's was actually same. looking at it, comparing it to like the desert walls yeah. in Utah. That was a great walk down the beach. Yes, it was. Great walk. This is just incredibly beautiful. I mean. Absolutely beautiful out here. You can just see how pretty it is. Abby wants us to grab our chairs and set up over here on the sound side and just chill out for a little while. Listen to the water, just yep. relax. Yep, just enjoy our day. This is our, it's our last day here. We head home tomorrow. It's sad. Great idea, babe. Thanks. This uh, cute palm tree is giving us just enough shade. It feels <laughs> it sure really is. great. This one single palm tree out here. <laughs> We're sitting right in the shade of it. I will hug it before I leave. <laughs> We're just uh, we're sitting here on the sound side of the peninsula looking over at Port St. Joe and we're just going to enjoy the kind of serenity here that it offers. Yep. Listen to the water. And that's all. Talk about our adventures and all of our ideas. Yeah. There's our nice shady palm tree there. But we've enjoyed our visit here. We'll definitely be coming back here. This is a... Yeah, we, we've really, really enjoyed uh, visiting Port St. Joe, and we definitely want to come back again uh, for a little bit longer, you know? Stay, have a few more days to kind of enjoy. We, All of the restaurants here have Man, been fabulous. Everything's Every, been amazing. We had breakfast this morning. I would call it a brunch, actually, yeah. at Sisters yep. Bistro. The women were there were fabulous. I mean, they were they yeah. were so nice and friendly, and the food was really good. It was. I and had a breakfast quesadilla. It was delicious. I had the omelet 
and it was it was delicious. And their biscuits. Oh were, yeah. Oh man, their biscuits. They put them were on so the grill, good. which is the total key to the. Yeah. That's a key to a good biscuit. Cut it in half and grill it. Yeah. And there goes the car alarm. Wow. Oh. That's not ours, is it? <laughs> no, it's not. I can see it flashing. It's not ours. It's a, no, it's a van. Okay. <laughs> it's the van next to us. Well, that has happened a couple times. I have my key in my pocket. And sometimes it'll hit the button and make it happen. <laughs> wow. I mean, is that a tow truck? Let me look and see what's going on there. There's a tow truck there with a car on it. <laughs> Maybe they're coming to pick them up too. Aww. Well, anyway. This is awesome. This is great. I don't really have much else to uh, show on the, the state park here other than it's just been great. We've enjoyed our day and uh, we're gonna continue to enjoy it. We're, we're going to uh, Indian Pass Raw Bar tonight. Mm -hmm. And we're actually gonna meet, if they show up, there's gonna be a couple there that we were talking to when we were at uh, uh, Beer Root. Yep. And they were all excited and, and they're like, let's, let's meet up at Indian Pass Raw Bar. So we're gonna we're gonna go oh, there. Darn. We're gonna go have some oysters. <laughs> Abby's gonna try some raw oysters and some beer, and they're supposed to have live music tonight. I'm excited. About so that's that. our that's our last hoorah of the trip. Let's drink a couple beers. I'm planning oh, on. Oh, okay, great. It's already in my plans. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna continue to to uh, chill out right here and enjoy our day, and uh, I always enjoy sharing with everyone what we get into on our trips here. If you guys watch this, don't tell anyone else about this place. Yeah, Ugh. keep it a secret. Look at this. Does it keep it a secret? On the weekend. <laughs> ah, it's glorious. Okay, we are so excited. We're trying the Indian Pass Raw Bar. So you just get this menu and you just check off the things that you want. And look at this. Self-serve beer. Self-serve beer. There's the scorecard. So if you look behind us, you just go and you just help yourself. Yeah. They even have draft beer. You just choose what you want. There's the draft. You can get a cup or get a pitcher. And you just keep track of it. And that's it. So you, you mark what you get right here on the scorecard. And it is a complete honor system. And I will tell you that we have literally had 25 people tell us how great this place is. So we had to try it. There's a band sitting up out back. Oh, yeah. And I've already spotted live. the t-shirt I'm going to get. Live music tonight. So... Here's the, uh, that's where they do the, uh, the cooking up there. And you can see the menu. You have plenty of, you have plenty of oysters. I see peanut butter pie. I saw that too. I'm a fan of that. So I'm gonna go raw oysters tonight and the gumbo. And they have sandwiches, chicken nuggies, uh, I mean burgers. I'm getting the crab legs. Crab legs tonight. Yep. I like it. Yep. But I think we're going to have a couple of, uh, I'm going to have a couple of Oyster Cities right here. And we're going to enjoy it. Yes, I'm really excited. What'd you get? We got some gumbo. And I, haven't, I haven't even tried it yet. Look at this. They just put the box of crackers right on the table for yep. you. <laughs> Absolutely. You got to have saltines. Thing. They got the saltines. You have all of your hot sauces right here. All you need is Tabasco, though. The way to do Seriously. it. Let me see how this tastes. All right. It looks pretty hot. It's steaming. It's good. Good. I got a shrimp right there in that bite. <laughs> Perfect. Perfect. A couple dabs of that. We'll be good to go. We've got the Oyster City going. Self-serve, all you can drink. <laughs> All right, so we got our raw oysters on the half shell, harvested from right across the street in the Indian Lagoon. And check out what Abby's got. These are like the surface of the sun, so I'm going to let them sit for just a moment. They just came out of the steamer. They look good. Man, it smells so good in here too, don't it? I love the way it smells in here. It just smells like seafood and steam, and it smells like... Kevin. Old Bay <laughs> it has that, uh, that Old Bay smell to it. It's so good. 
We're loving life right now, enjoying it, appreciating every moment of it. Yes, we are. Indian Pass Raw Bar. We're doing the raw oysters tonight, and they were harvested from right across the street there at Indian Lagoon. They are delicious. So, you really don't need any salt, but I like to do just a touch of salt, just a little bit. Pepper. Salting. Just like that. They have a vast array of hot sauces, but I like the Tabasco. Just like that right there. And devour. <laughs> Mm. So good. But so good again. Good local oysters. Delicious. I love it. And help wash it down with an Oyster City Brew. <laughs> he is the happiest as he can be right now. This place is great. We love it.